Have you heard of Prince Geoffrey of Brunei, the prince who is considered richer than most of the kings of the world? Did you know that Prince Geoffrey hired Michael Jackson for his 50th birthday for $7 million? Probably not. In today's video, we'll see how Prince Geoffrey spends his billions, from his 2,000 car collection to a $400 million yacht to the hiring of Joe Montana and Herschel Walker to help his son learn football. Everything will be revealed here today. But before we dive in, let's see who is Prince Jeffrey. Jeffrey Bolkiah ibn Omar Ali Saifuddin III is the Prince of Brunei and brother of Sultan Hassan al Bolkiah of Brunei, who is one of the richest kings in the world. His net worth is unknown, but it is considered in the billions. The prince uses his money on many different things. The first thing, though, is his list of lavish residences. Palaces, Residence The prince lives with his family and along with the king in the Grand Palace of Istana Nurul Iman. This palace is located in Brunei's capital city. This palace has a Guinness World Record for the largest palace in the world. It is spread over 200,000 square meters of area. It's like three and a half times that of a football field. And this palace has 17 floors and 1,788 rooms. The interiors of the palace are decorated with gold, diamonds, and valuable jewels. Even the staircases are made of valuable wood and 38 different kinds of marble. The prince did make some modifications to this palace, like having a 12-foot high bronze rocking horse, two antique cannons, and an inventory of grand pianos. He even placed gold-plated toilet brushes and gilded toilet paper holders in the rooms. According to some reports, the prince spent $747,000 daily for 10 long years. Apart from living in the most expensive palace in the world, the prince has other luxurious houses to stay. Some reports suggest that he has more than 25 private properties, but his favorite of them is St. John's Lodge. This is a private residence bought in the year 1994 for $55 million, and it's located in Regent's Park in the city of Westminster, London. This royal mansion is one of the most expensive private properties in the entire UK. This private property of the prince covers an area of 35,000 square feet. It is surrounded by a beautiful garden decorated with a valuable bronze statue and exotic plants to enhance its beauty. No wonder this mansion is the personal favorite of Prince Geoffrey. The prince spends about 55,000 pounds on maintaining costs for St. John's Lodge. 20 to 50 people are working to maintain the garden and mansion. The garden is even visited by people, generating 1 to 5 million pounds per year for the prince. The prince is a huge boat lover and likes to spend millions to buy expensive boats. Let's take a look at his boat and yacht collection. Though the prince owns multiple boats and five yachts, the prince's favorite of them is this super yacht with an unusual name. It's called Tits. He uses this yacht to throw some exclusive parties with his friends. This yacht comes in a deadly combination of black and white, which gives it that elegant look when it's cruising on the sea. The Prince of Brunei has spent $230 million on buying this luxurious yacht. It was custom built according to the Prince with glass walls for clear view and an advanced cooling system for his grand bedroom. This super yacht was built in the Netherlands by a company called Feedship. It is a 180 meters long yacht. The Prince has put in some extra dollars to decorate the interiors of the yacht with 24 karat gold plating and some exquisite marbles of the world. It is also equipped with an advanced heating system, an elevator to access different decks, a jacuzzi, and a swimming pool. It takes 20 to 25 professional crew members to run her with an annual running cost of five to seven million dollars. Jets. The Prince also owns five private jets for distant traveling. Because you don't expect the Prince to travel on commercial flights, and one private jet is not enough for the Prince. The Prince of Brunei owns a Boeing 747 private jet, and millions have been spent to customize this private jet. The cost of this jet is about $400 million, but with all of the Prince's customization, it's estimated to be between $450 to $475 million. It has a dining room with million-dollar paintings framed in golden frames. It also has a saloon and a grand bedroom. Even the King of Brunei sometimes uses this private jet to travel abroad, and we don't blame him. Apart from this jet, the prince also has an Airbus private jet, and the prince spent $120 million buying it. The prince also has a Sikorsky helicopter worth $108 million. And to maintain all his private jets and helicopters, the prince pays $25 to $37 million annually. Cars The prince of Brunei has 2,300 cars in his collection. Not 10 or 20, but 2,300 cars. This extensive car collection is believed to be worth in the billions. Some expensive cars in this car collection include a Bugatti EB110 worth $1 million, 
a Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR Roadster worth $5 million, a Porsche 550 Spider worth $6.1 million, a Bentley Arnage worth $1.7 million, a Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorina worth $1.5 million, and he has two McLarens that come in jet black colors, each car worth $14.5 million. The Prince hugely spends his money on custom-built cars. He once spent $2 million more on his Rolls-Royce for an inscription that reads, built by Rolls-Royce for His Royal Highness Prince Jeffrey. And according to BornRich.com, Prince Jeffrey spent $78 million at Pininfarina SPA for coach-built Ferraris and $475 million at Rolls-Royce. The Prince spends millions of dollars to maintain this car collection. Still, according to some reports, many of the expensive cars in this car collection were forgotten and under the intense heat of Brunei, these cars began to rot in his car garage. Other expenses of the Prince The Prince has a monthly expense of $50 million. A big part of it goes to support his lavish lifestyle, but a part of it also goes to bizarre expenses like buying a rug, but not an ordinary rug that you and I know about. It's a rug woven with threads of solid gold and decorated with diamonds and 25,000 precious diamonds. The Prince paid an amount of $7 million for this royal rug. The Prince stocks the entire inventories of stores such as Armani and Versace. He even bought 100 suits of the same color. If you ask why, then the answer is… lots of money. Since money was never a big deal for the Prince, he is seen spending millions of it quite generously. He once paid a badminton coach $1.5 million to fly to Brunei and teach the Prince how to play badminton. This list of his extensive spending also includes paying $2 million to two professional football players, Joe Montana and Herschel Walker, to help his son learn football. Even the list of the Prince's expenses includes $1.3 million fountain pens, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of exquisite paintings, some interesting statues, and 10 $8 million wristwatches, each of them encrusted with 10 jewels. But the craziest expense of the Prince has to be hiring Michael Jackson for his brother's 50th birthday party for which Prince Jeffrey paid $7 million. How about that for a lavish birthday party? Until now, we have seen expenses of Prince Jeffrey, but let's see how Prince Jeffrey earns his money. The Prince of Brunei has a net worth of $1.5 billion. If you're wondering where this money comes from, then we have to see how the Prince earns his billions. The Prince owns more than 250 companies. The most notable of them is Asprey Limited Company. This is a jewelry company based in the United Kingdom that also provides jewelry to the Royal House of the UK. The Prince bought Asprey for $385 million in 1994, generating a turnover of £20 million each year for the Prince. The Prince has also invested heavily in hotels. The Prince owns five five-star hotels in the world which generate millions for him. He owns a Dorchester Hotel in London worth $15.9 million as well as the Hotel Plaza Athene in Paris, Beverly Hills Hotels, and Bel Air Hotel in London. The Prince has also been chairman of the Brunei Investment Agency, which is responsible for investing a big portion of the country's wealth. The Prince was even responsible for investing the agency's $1.1 billion investment in the Empire Hotel of Brunei. Thanks for watching the video. Comment your favorite part down below and let us know. Also, press the subscribe button and the bell icon for regular updates.